Youth are creative thinkers, so how do we encourage them to imagine ideas, both big and small, when tackling design challenges? Run a brainstorm. By running our design challenges in a variety of settings, we've learned quite a bit, and we have a few tips to help you run a successful brainstorm. First, preparation is key. Frame the design challenge so that your learners have a clear idea of what problem they are addressing and why, and communicate any design criteria and constraints. Next, prior to the brainstorm, choose a brainstorming strategy for your group. At the Tech, we found the following strategies to be effective. There's free writing, mind maps, storytelling, Materials Brainstorm, and Post-it Note Brainstorm. Remember to communicate that all ideas are documented without judgment. Using Post-its is an effective method for brainstorming, as it allows learners to get all of their ideas in front of them, providing a chance to organize and combine ideas. If you are asking your learners to build a device or prototype, allowing teams to explore the materials is often necessary in helping them envision what they will build. Asking guiding questions during the brainstorm will help to focus participants and encourage them to think expansively throughout the activity. Here are some of the questions that we think are helpful. This is a lot of text. You may want to pause the video before we move on. Brainstorming allows for creativity. It can feel messy. Give it time and encourage all team members to contribute. In the end, your learners will have many ideas to choose from for their design. For more resources and lesson plans to use with your learners, go to thetech.org slash Bowers Institute.